I got a letter from the federal government in uh, July telling me that I had to get permits or I had to stop doing what I was doing. And then... I run a drone journalism lab at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln's College of Journalism and Mass Communications. I actually get invited to speak at a bunch of conferences to talk about that. Uh, journalists are apparently fascinated by flying robots with cameras. Using flying machines with cameras on them are nothing new. What makes this interesting to me is that the economics are such that it brings it way down to the point where pretty much anybody can have one. Not to sound like a used car salesman, but I can find you a drone that fits your budget. That's the opportunity, it's also the, the peril. If you are here and you have your credit card out and you've got your smart device and you're like, hell yes, get me to the internet, I'm buying that thing right now, stop. It's a lot more difficult to fly these things than I had thought. Uh, like if you were to get your arm in like that, you're gonna look like you got bit by a shark. My original dream when I started this in November 2011 was that you could have just a bank of these in the newsroom and any old idiot could walk up and grab one and go cover a fire with it. And it didn't take me long flying it around realized that's not gonna happen. It takes practice and it takes skill. And you'll start to wander away and you're like, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. You realize, wait, if I were to go fly this over somebody's head, like I were to go to a protest where people are densely packed in and wanna fly over that crowd, Something goes wrong, I'm hurting somebody. Goal number one of every flight, nobody dies. Mission accomplished. The fact of the matter is, the law right now is outright hostile to the idea of journalists using drones. Actually, it's outright hostile to anyone but the government using drones. We had been flying under the idea that we could use hobbyist rules. If you're a hobbyist, you can fly, but you can't be compensated in any way, shape, or form. Well, the FAA is defining compensation very, very, very broadly. So a student getting a grade is being compensated. They're out. Anybody taking money, out. Anybody taking even links to their company website, out. It's an opportunity. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, you must be really mad you got shut down. Uh, but I also you know, have the ability now to, to look at this system and treat it like an investigative reporting project and just help people out.